Hey everyone, Techni here with a review of the glorious GMMK TKL White Ice Edition. And let me tell you what, just a quick spoiler here, this keyboard was a real shocker. So as far as in your box here, you are gonna get a plethora of paperwork, some stickers, catalogs, again, your manual, and then a quick start guide as far as using a hot swap board, as far as watching out for your pins and swapping the switches and whatnot. You're gonna get a six foot long white braided USB-C cable, some extra feet, a keycap puller and a switch puller, and two extra keycaps, and of course, your keyboard with a dust cover. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my first impressions of this keyboard. Again, just taking it right out the box right here. You all know some of my past experience with Glorious, especially their mice have not been that good. So again, that's what I went into this board about. And that's what honestly took me so long to get this board and actually review it, right? I kind of had that same expectation. But let me tell you what, taking this board out of the box really shocked me. The build is fantastic. No flex whatsoever, very nice weight to it. Not too heavy, not too light. Again, very nice weight. Underneath you got four rubber feet and then your pop out feet with some rubber grips right there as well. That's where your keycap puller is stored up there. On the top you have double shot ABS keycaps, not PBT, so they are a little bit slicker but you still have a little bit of grip on them. I see no need to replace these keycaps unless you want something aesthetic, they're very nice. But again, as far as that whole aluminum top plate there, it actually loops down over the bottom piece. It's not just a top plate, you know what I mean? So again, it just feels very solid and durable around the whole deal. It looks stinking awesome as well. The one thing I don't like about it, me personally, is how that little edge, the little uh, bezel right there, whatever you call it, has that chrome accent. I personally don't like that. I wish it was just brush going all the way around, but heck, that's just me. As far as on the back side here, it connects by USB-C and that is placed right in the middle. And after looking over that, again, just straight out the box, it really shocked me. Again, I, I go back to the glorious mice. They've kind of disappointed me, you know what I mean? And when I took this out and just felt it, looked it over and started even typing on it, I was like, holy smokes, this thing is incredibly awesome. I, I was disappointed it took me so long to get to it. Now, yes, these glorious boards are hot swap as well, which is a fantastic feature. I absolutely love hot swap boards and I've used quite a few. And let me tell you what, no fluff here. This has got to be probably the best hot swap board I have used yet. And why I say that, I mean, there's things that can be different, right? Number one, looking into there, the PCB is only three pin. I would have liked for it to be five pin just because it holds it in there real solid and you got more variety of switches to choose from. But anyways, it is three pin here. But let me tell you what, when you put the switch in this guy, like you get it set there, I mean, these switches snap in there. Now, the white edition can only come with the brown Gateron switches, which is a stinker. I hope they uh, open it up where you can start getting more. I know with the black one, you can pick whatever you want or get a bare bones. On the white one, only Gateron browns here. But I put mine with Kale Silvers over here, so I try these guys as well. And same thing, they snap in there. And let me tell you what, they are solid. They feel like a five pin PCB because they do not budge one bit. And that is a big deal for me. Again, I've used many a hot swap boards and I have quite a few, you know, and that's the one downfall I notice about them is sometimes the switch will get in there and the switch will be slightly loose, you know what I mean? Causing some rattle again throughout the case. But these switches on multiple switches, I check cherry, I keep the kales in there, and then over here on the left side or right side, I have those Gateron Browns. And again, they are locked in there, so stinking solid. Hands down, the best I've ever felt in a hot swap board. So like I stated, the white edition you can only get with the Gateron Browns right here. I am not a tactile fan at all. I love linear, but again, with a hot swap board, you're buying it, obviously, because you wanna try different switches. But again, I think that's a real downfall. Probably the only downfall of this keyboard is that you can only get it with the brown switches. Me, again, instantly, bam, took them right out. You know, I just don't like tactile. If you do like tactile, you got a complete win. Also, if you check my review out of the Glorious Pandas, the Holy Pandas right here, fantastic tactile switch. Again, I'm not a tactile fan, but this is probably, again, one of the better tactile switches I ever tried. So that's the cool thing about it. Again, you're getting a hot swap board to try different switches. So heck, while you're on there, scoop up a linear, scoop up the glorious pandas and try some other switches out. All right, so let's dive into the sound test here. And now again, my basic keys and my function layer up here are all kale silvers over here. Now just these little shortcuts of my arrows I left as the gator on browns, just so you can get a sample sound of what the stock switches sound like. But again, not my preferred. These kale silvers are absolutely fantastic. If you scoop this board up, I'm telling you, scoop up some kale silvers. These things are a fantastic combo. Let's get a listen.
All right, so after that sound test, what did you honestly think? Me personally, again, I don't like the Gateron Browns. Just a tactile, I got a little more clanky sound over there, but when I come over to the Kale Silvers, it's got such a nice sound. It's, you got a little bit of that key clank, you know, but then you also got this thawkiness just combined in there. Like I don't like too thawky, too clanky, but again, this is just perfect right in between there. And I've used these uh, Kale Silvers on multiple other boards before, and I didn't get this vibe. This sound right here, and I'm not this keyboard sound snob or anything like that, like, ah, it's too scratchy, ah, it's too this, too that, you know what I mean? But let me tell you what, this board with these Kale Silvers was such a joy to use. Again, I just wanted to reply to comments all day typing on this thing. It sounds and feels amazing. And I believe there's a few reasons we're getting that really nice sound. Number one, as far as the aluminum plate right here, it's not just a top plate like we see on a lot of boards where it's just slapped right down on it, right? Again, it's that whole like top housing where it rolls around right there. So again, as far as that sound, it gets locked in there. Going down underneath the PCB, hopefully the camera can pick it up right here. You can see there's a little piece of dampening foam under there and that goes across the entire board. So again, that's kind of locking it down there a little bit as well. But as far as the just the basic build and the solidness and the thickness of it, again, I think it really locks down that sound and makes it just a perfect combo. Also into our stabilizers, I mean, not the best, not the worst by any means, totally passable. There's no lube on them. Maybe slap some lube when you round them out. But again, as is, I think they're pretty stinking solid. Now you do also have RGB on this board and it is plenty bright and vibrant out there. Again, it kind of goes down and radiates off that silver plate. Looks really crisp and sharp and you can control it all right on the board as far as function, then your arrows and then function and then your shortcuts up there as far as effects, speeds and brightness. Now there's also software for some other GMK boards on their uh, website. And then they tell you match it up to your serial number. My serial number wouldn't match up to any of them, so I'm not sure if they just don't have software for the white version yet. Not too sure about that, but heck, I don't care because everything can be trolled right on the board the way I like it. All right, so all in all, the glorious GMMK White Ice Edition. Again, what an absolute shocker. And that's just, again, I say it's a shocker because of my past experience with some glorious products. This thing completely just like... I didn't expect it. I absolutely love this board. I truly do. I think it's a fantastic value. It comes in at 110 bucks, 109 and some change. We're gonna say 110 bucks. Now, the one thing that really weirds me out about that price is they sell this in a compact 60%, the TKL like we have here, and then a full size. And they all come with the Gateron Browns currently, right? And the crazy thing is all of them are 109. Like that's just, like you got a smaller board, shouldn't be a little bit cheaper. It would have been nice to see it like, you know, 79, 99 and then 109. That would have been pretty cool. But 109 for all the sizes just sounds like some sort of marketing, uh, you know, markup type of scheme or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just me thinking too deep into it. But again, as far as them all being the same price, it's kind of weird. I would have liked them to be lower and then raise up a bit right there. But again, at 109 bucks, what we have right here, I stink and love it. Now, when you get into the compact at 109 to 60%, you open up a world of many other 60% uh, boards, the Ducky, the Venus, all sorts of them out there, you know what I mean? But again, none of those are hot swap. These are, which again, I think is an absolute shining point. And the hot swap feature on it, as far as the switches locking in there, is solid and I absolutely love it. So all in all, as you can tell, yes, I highly recommend this board. Please let me know down in the comments if you use it and what you think about it or if you're looking at picking one up. But anyways, I hope I was able to answer some questions into this keyboard right here and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.